Um, I I have no idea what I'm doing, but I have cubes. Oh, hello, hello, Heist. Hello. hello. Fancy, fancy meeting you here. The, People this, have said, this... "Oh, don't make that. Don't. We're not doing that. We're not making that. <laughs> were you you were gonna make?" The <laughs> shape was, I was not even real. I'm just putting out even, cubes, man. You read the handbook yet, Heist? It's very important you read uh, the handbook. I saw Are that I read? can place things and then I can press buttons. Yes, you can place you can place so things you can do in scrap mechanic uh pretty cool. I like to show people this right off the bat. This is one of my favorite creations. Uh this is um okay. By placing blocks appropriately. This is a uh, a bipedal piston walker. <laughs> <laughs> that is I am the dominant life form. Please bow before me. I'm bowing. Don't step on me. Ah! Uh, so anyway, this actually turns by rotating its hips. Um, um, it, it doesn't do well. It's, uh, uh, it's, physics have changed since yeah. I built this. But yeah, it actually would sense when you put a foot down, and just like the human body, when you put the foot down, it would pivot the hip around that foot to you know well, steer. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I know so you stuff to that level, which is nice. I have more trains, but unfortunately, there's a train mod that I used to use for wheels, for train wheels. And uh, I don't know what that mod is because I can't find it. I've looked through all my mods that I'm subscribed to, and someone removed the train wheels. Um, so unfortunately, any of my trains that had train wheels that are modded, uh, I can't. I can't show you for some that reason. That is unfortunate. Yeah, but we do have train tracks here. Um, okay. So let's just let's just go over here. You know what? I'll just let's get uh, let's do some adventuring here. I built. A, this is a hover train. Uh, I am. Oh God. Uh, it's very laggy. We're not going to talk I'm about that. I'm very He's squished by it. I didn't get to see yeah, it because it spawned on top of me. It's fine. Um, yeah. What else? I've got. I've got. Dude, I have too much stuff. Uh, it's. It's just. It's a lot of stuff. Here's a train that just looks like a train, but is. I mean, you know, art, artist's interpretation of train. Yes. Yeah, this is. <laughs> it's like a five-year-old's interpretation of a train. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen. I don't want to hear how bad my trains look. We're gonna so, go over. The Tracks, so, okay. so for for context for for people that uh, that may not know or whatever or don't watch our railroads online series, people have been asking for me to join Con and Scrap Mechanic forever and be the uh, you know the shoes on the other foot. Um, I well, know I've train done, stuff. I don't know scrap yeah, mechanic I, stuff. I so. did a newbie pro series with both um, Cosmo and Dapper. Uh, that's how I sort of got them into the whole making YouTube video. Good thing. God, these rails are absurdly large. Yeah, they're good. We're, we are very small dwarf people, in case you didn't know. Uh, okay. That's the way Scrap Mechanic works. Uh, if you work it out, I think we're like three feet tall or something. I was going to say, the gauge is wider than you are tall, so it's fine. Yeah, but the, are, the rails are like, that's that's thick. bigger than mainline rail. Well, okay, that's so fine. the reason the reason why is because everything is based on the block grid. So the rail is two blocks. Uh, I was gonna make, you'll notice like with my trains, like this train that you so commented looks amazing. It's got little pegs that go down. And oh, so it's yeah. like it's like a roller coaster kind right, of. Right, so hop in on the on the side there on the chair. Press E. Look at the e, chair. Okay. There oh, you go. Yep. So now if I go forward, look, we can we can haul it, and we'll stay on the corners, right? So <laughs> because we can... because we have. Oh, uh, I... <laughs> we'll stay on the corners. <laughs> oh man, it smells anyway, like Kenosha. That's uh, there yeah, you go. <laughs> that's so we could we could build some trains at some point if you want. We'll we'll do some. That could some that could building. be fun. Okay. Uh, but today we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of the trains I do have. Mainly a couple a week ago, I guess. I built a train simulator that tries to simulate how steam locomotives work. Um, I also had a, I really wanted to show you, I had a wall shirts train gear mechanism, but I just tried it and with the new physics, it doesn't work for some reason and I'm very sad. Here's another train, by the oh, way, I just searched God. train on my lift and I have a lot of trains. This is a, um, yeah, vague, I don't know why it runs vague, inside the cage. Vaguely a diesel the locomotive cage. and it is on fire. Oh no, that's those are thrusters. Uh, that's to keep it on the track. Oh, it needs downforce. Gotcha. Yeah, it okay. needs downforce. I don't know why this one runs inside the gauge. I'm being run over. I've been oh. run over. Oh, you crashed the game! I ran you over and crashed the game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> amazing! That's I beautiful. didn't know you could do that. That's that's what you get for running me over. Apparently, we're we're back. We have <laughs> we relaunched. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, we could, I could, I could show you scrap mechanic creations for days. There's just, uh, there's so many. I've, and the I've watched that... like a couple of your videos with yeah. them. So, so this, some is things, piston, but... this is a piston engine. Um, okay. Three cylinder. Three cylinder piston engine. It works on a really simple principle. Each piston is controlled by the sensor directly attached to the piston itself on a, on a shaft, right? And as you put this line of blocks here or this line of blocks here in front of the sensors, that'll determine when the sensors are on and off. So if I push it this way, it rotates one way, 
right? And if I push it this way, it rotates the other way. Oh, that's fun. Right? So a little simple, really simple three-cylinder nonsense. Now, where this comes in to relevance with you is uh, I then built this. Oh, God. Another train to drop on my head, yes. Another train to drop on your head. This time we're not going to drop on your head. You can actually, you can drive this. So you can see we've got that three-cylinder piston oh. engine underneath here. Oh, it's it's is it spaghetti because it's, it's, it's multiplayer. No, it's a uh, it, it's like a shave, but it's like a but why are the cylinders it's in the middle? Don't worry it's, about it. Yo, it's so a, hop in, hop into the seat, man, Mister Engineer. Oh God. <laughs> We're short. There you go. Now I press one, and you'll go one direction, and press two, and you'll go the other. And there you go. Look at it move. So you can look at the bottom, and you can see it. <laughs> oh, that's. I mean, uh... it's, Let's be real. It's That's... got all the expansion valves and the, the expansion joints and stuff, so it can actually, you know, go around corners and the gearing and stuff internally. This is and... actually really impressive, I'm sure, for actually being in this game. Not having not tried to build anything, but just, like, seeing this, I'm sure this was a pain in the butt. But it's so a... jank. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not real. Uh, unfortunately, in Scrap Mechanic 2, if we attach, like, a bunch of cars to it, it becomes a laggy disaster. Like, well, you can already that's... kind of frames yeah. with all the calculations but that's the the beauty of scrap mechanic is everything calculates with like everything co combines with everything which means you can really make really elaborate cool mechanical things like these are you know you've got mechanical gears there going on trying to which are actually just made of pipe pieces but this is all done in vanilla there are modded gears that we can use as well um you know i'm not that this is not it this is not uh, that. it bounces down the track and goes slow so it's definitely a logging locomotive it, uh, well, it does that right like it's kind of you know that's, like that's fine. ish that's ish, that's that's, sort of. that's good it yeah. goes so anyway. when i hit it with a hammer yeah uh yeah there's there's a bunch of there's a bunch of that going on so anyway scrap mechanic wonderful game um all sorts of cool stuff this is actually more specifically if you want to look at some of the mechanisms this is the gear truck mechanism for it so oh. this is it's how it you know you power this shaft and the oh, whole so thing you see you're rotate. making like really 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 basic gears out of pipe elbows Pretty much, yeah. It's um, like that. Like, uh, it's like that 1950s, like 1950s eight. explanation of how a, a, a transmission and like a differential works. If you haven't seen those, yeah, on YouTube. I have uh, a geared transmission as well, but that's for that's uh, with mods, of course. And then this is like, I guess, the more the most basic example. Um, where is the part? I'm looking for this part. So this is I made this rig, um, <laughs> which is okay. This, this is cursed, but. Essentially, this was to test whether or not the expansion shaft I made would work. So I'm powering, if you pull out, do you have your connection tool? It looks like this, this little thing. Yeah. Yeah, so if you pull that out, that shows you all the bearings and joints and stuff, right? Okay. So if I connect this front bearing to this electric motor, now that orange, orange light there, do you see that? You might have yeah. to put your tool away. But yeah. anyway, that orange thing, that's going to be powered by that electric motor. So when I get in the seat and I turn on with W and S, you're, you're, it's going to You're powering right here. Okay. Right, but I'm not powering the wheels in any way. You can see they're all blue. They're all unpowered blue bearings, right? Okay, yeah. So, so the power is just there, yeah. and then all that stuff will rotate, and then based on the... Right, so the, this rig is cursed because I did this, so I could swivel <laughs> and tilt it, and I could test to make sure that the expansion... So even, like, you can see, if I go... Oh, I got to turn down the engine. The engine's a little too high. Uh, let me turn that down a bunch. But if I, like, see if I... Oh, well, that's too low. Hold on. Let me find a good midpoint there. <laughs> If I, you know, I can I can test to make sure that if I turn, I'm still only powering that front point, right? But like, it's still. But the it's still joint. okay. That's that's right. actually really nifty. I and to test to make sure that it had enough it had enough movement for the train itself. That it's was, also was, very cursed, but you know what? I'm here for it. You know what? Listen, listen. Okay, U joints are not like there's some glitch. You know, I'm gonna get killed by the Scrabble Kit community because there's some glitch welding. You, we're not gonna get into that, but there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do to make stuff less cursed, but. It's 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 pretty bad. It's still cursed. It's it's scrap mechanic. Everything is cursed. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's welcome. welcome. That's how this works. Yeah. So anyway, the the thing that I wanted to show you today, I've got, dude. I have like thousands of creations on my list. I'm literally, sure. You've been playing this game on YouTube for how long? Yeah. It's like I. It's it's actually a problem. How many things I have? Um. Like, like, oh my god. Oh, I have to show you th this. Okay, you think that is cursed, bro. This oh is... boy. Where is it? Hold on. I have to find this. If I search piston, too many things come mm -hmm. up. Ah, yes, this thing. This is the ultimate cursed vehicle. Just, why don't you just hop in that? Um. Just, um, just hop, 
hop in. It's, it's, it's fine. Just um, hop in. Right? And then, I don't remember the button. I'll press 1. Oh, yeah, and then just, oh, just let it oh, just let it pick up some oh, speed. Oh, and then you can oh, turn. Oh, 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 oh. Con. Con. <laughs> Listen, what, it is a new is form this? of transportation. What is this thing? I think I'm gonna hurt all <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, it's scrap mechanic. Uh, literally, whatever. What happens you can imagine, when I run into you? Does, do we oh, break the video be, game? Oh, oh, might, actually, it wasn't that bad. Oh, I've de, stuck I've de, I've de, I don't even know what you'd call it. I'm stuck sideways. Well, I, don't think I, can, I don't think I can fit you, flip you over. Um, no, I, I cannot. I cannot. Anyway, welcome to scrap mechanic. Uh, we should, we should definitely build stuff <laughs> together at some point. It'll be wonderful. That'd be fun. Okay. Um, yeah, if people want us to do some sort of a newbie pro thing again, let us know in the comments down below. I don't really necessarily want to just do newbie pro in the same format I did, which was I come up with a challenge and then absolutely destroy you on it every time because you don't know how to build. <clears throat> but uh, maybe people in the comments will have some good suggestions for that. But regardless, let's get into the point of being here. We've been here far too long. Right. What, what's I built the, the most cursed thing ever Kay. the other week. Uh, it's another giant all. train you're going to drop on my head. This, is, this one is massive. Now, this one doesn't fit on the tracks. It's not. It's designed to just go forward and backwards. Um, but I'm really, I'm really proud of this one. This one's great. So come on and hop in here. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm busy wandering around this giant oh, it's cursed a brick. thing. Oh, don't worry, it's a brick. And look at you. Want to see what's inside? It's a this two eight zero brick. Yeah, it's a two eight zero brick. You want to see what's inside? Look at this. There's some explosives in here. We've oh got, boy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, some Ooh. Logic. It's an, ex it's an explodey boy. Tool. Okay action tool on this stuff oh god go. that is some spaghetti yeah welcome to scrap mechanic everything is always spaghetti it literally okay all right um, well so um you're gonna blow yeah. me up today got it no I no see. no the engine has a fail safe only if you don't know how to drive a steam train it will blow you up otherwise it'll oh. so uh you gotta put your down which is this thing okay. yeah so you put that and then jump on it and then press up and down and it'll move your lift up and down that's sort of the way you like if you aim your lift at a creation the creation will highlight blue and you can click on the creation on your lift and then put it places that's why i've been spawning things then you just right click on that to delete it cool uh so this is my train cab welcome to <laughs> well i mean <laughs> what do you think i How mean i mean um, Other than the fact that you're three feet tall, the, uh, uh, I mean it's very large and intimidating in here, and we've so we've got we've got a hole presumably where fire go. We have a yeah, water yeah, sight glass. Yeah, uh, okay. we have a water sight glass. Okay, yep, we have yep. we have a mysterious Pressure pipe fish. down there. Another mysterious pipe over here. Um, Those are just for decoration. Uh, a uh, 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 hammer sticking out of the floor that I can only assume is well, the Johnson these are, bar. These are these are buttons. So if you press the button, you see it moves in that oh, direction. Oh, okay. E, you just have to use E, you see. Okay, so E for buttons, and then we've got a uh, 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 red thing. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I like some good red. This looks like an emergency dump valve if it's painted red. Uh, and then we've got uh, another another not valve, and then the, presumably a throttle here. This guy. I, I can I can smell that. Uh, and then yeah, this sorry. is this is an injector of some flavor, perhaps, yeah, by the fact go. that None it is. None of the guys that I showed that to got that this was an injector. Because right it's got it's got a suction line off the back, and then it's got an overflow, and then it's got a delivery line. It doesn't have any oh, right. steam delivery. Like God. it I works forgot. via magic, thing, but a critical piece here. Uh, there's, oh, there's... I see. Just a whole lot of it. There's my, uh, here's the water tower. Oh, what, what are we, are we burning bundles of cardboard back yeah, here? Yeah, we're burning, but yeah, so there's, there's certain, um, uh, to, to, in Scrap Mechanic, there's certain objects that can be destroyed by the, the infamous spud gun. Uh, you have a spud gun like this, so you can shoot spuds. Okay. So the spud shotgun variant. Um, and then, of course, everyone's favorite, the spud gatling gun. Um... That's very fun. I don't see that in my inventory. Uh, you press B, which brings up your backpack, and that's where all the ah. blocks are in the game because we're in creative mode. I so, see. So, top there, you'll see the spud guns are the far the far three on the right. How do I equip that? Uh, but while you're in your inventory, why don't you scroll down pretty much uh, to like almost near the bottom? There's an, or you can just search in the search bar. The unfolded onion box is the uh, fuel that we'll be using. These unfolded the unfolded onion, onion box. Yeah, that's what it's called. So that's your fuel. If you have that, for example, uh, I can I can show you right away. If I put the fuel on the back wall here of the firebox, um, the sensors see it. They destroy it with all the spud guns, and now the firebox is glowing red, and you can see we're building up steam pressure. Isn't that wonderful? Uh oh. 
That's yeah, our pressure right. gauge. Is this is this gauge. is this, this thing? Don't my pressure gauge, heist. Right. Anyway, I gotta stop. I gotta move that because it's bad things will happen if I let it get the full pressure to. Anyway, long uh, story short. Um, there we go. Oh, go okay. Hop back. Oh, 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 left there. oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This, I know this is it's information overload. This is right information now. overload, and it's very so. Your pressure gauge. Uh, we have. Uh, green, yeah, I'm, I'm, that more yeah. danger, more danger, very danger. Wait, but on a real steam trade, they have they have pressure gauges off the boiler, right? Like yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. But it, it's they, they have numbers, not colors, and and uh, there is you know, well, okay. Really Everything's block based, so yeah, I can color one block at a time. So, I you know. I see. I get you. Okay, you yeah. did what you could. Anyway, the objective is really simple, Heist, since you're such an expert on steam trains. Okay. Yes. Uh, your uh, objective is to get this steam train to move forward. Okay. With, without exploding. Uh, and oh, onion okay. boxes are your fuel. So if you place an onion box, you can see. Yeah. Okay. So you got. Yeah. Okay. You got okay, the we, tender. We got. We got a. Well, your water tank is. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, you have, so you have to on the. And then I and thing. then I press Q a couple times and it rotates. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Do 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 do. Uh, somewhere vaguely there's. Oh, great. Batman didn't even think to put water in the tender before he started. He just. Well, I saw. I saw that you put a a water tower down, and I I kind of took the hint. Yeah, so. you need it. You need it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh man, this 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 just it just goes. Okay. And that's the height. Yeah, it's got a max height. What do you think of my glass roof, by the way, just for extra lighting? I thought it was really. You know, oh, the the. Good. <laughs> it would get uh, clogged with, uh, with the with things dark. very quickly. It's fine. Uh, okay, so my water tower is definitely not gonna go in the hole. So we're just gonna we're just gonna. Well, you can you might be able to smash it with a hammer. The hammer does physically oh, move stuff. Oh, okay, so that's uh, exciting. So I'm gonna do that. I or think you that that might work. Too. It, it, you I, went I too know. far that. Uh, the, well, it wouldn't let me place it for the other one. Okay, so we put we that the over there. We land. grab this, and yep. then we rotate, and then we do that. There you go. That's probably a good that's probably spot. pretty. That's I think that I think we got this nailed. So then we. All right. So. Oh, you gotta take it off your lift. Uh, moving stuff doesn't move as long as it's on your lift, you see. Oh, I see. Okay. We put that okay. there. There you oh, go. Dunk. Not, not, hold on. Hold uh, on it's not close gonna... enough. You're oh, gonna... it's because these... Oh, no, these indicators. Uh, can I... Is this enough? Can I... Uh, a little more? Uh, yeah. How are you, how are you doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> can you tell there's no water just, in the water just, tower? Just keep moving the water tower over here. <laughs> You're almost there, almost there, almost there. Yay! Are you filling up? Yeah, you yeah, we're, we're, we have water now. Okay. Very good. We just good. had to move move the wayside devices yeah, got, with a hammer yeah, yeah, so because we'll, this, we'll is, this is this is nonsense. We'll just, this is fine. Okay, then we, we close yeah. close the hatch. We're all we're all good there. Okay, we have yeah. water. We don't have any water in the boiler, so I'm gonna assume that I press a button here. Yeah, but that the injector doesn't. It, how many the injectors don't just work, Heiss. You need. They, they you know, don't. Yeah, yes. You need, you need steam pressure to make an injector work, don't well, you? Well, yeah, but you need to have water to make steam, ding dong. Well, there's a little bit. Look at the bottom of the glass. There's a little bit of water in there, like a very small amount. That's not safe. Who well, to, who, who well, built this well, con? I was, so I was actually debating this with myself. In real life, you would have a hatch on the top of the tender, and you would also fill the tip, like, you'd fill the boiler with water we, directly. We, we, we plump a pump. We have an electric pump that we plump the water from the exactly. tender yeah, or wherever. Yeah, well, you'd, you'd have a, a, a steam pump. You'd have a mechanical pump that would put water in. And usually, awesome. back Some in the other. day, they had, like, house boilers and house steam that could actually heat up the boiler preemptively. So you could put hot water right. in, so you save a lot of time on fire up because you could let the steel warm up really evenly just by putting house water in. So you, you would have this, I mean, the water expands a lot uh, once it starts to warm up and, and boiling things happen. So you don't have a bunch of water, but you'd have like a quarter or a third of a glass to fire up. Uh, so there so, isn't, there isn't a, like, but it's a, is it literally just a, like a hatch on the top of the tender or is there like a valve, like a line that you have to connect to or something? So we have like a, a little garden hose kind of valve basically on the side of the tender that has a union half on it. And we, we, we pipe up into that and then we have uh, on the blowdown, which is the boiler's main drain, uh, we have a special threaded fitting so we can use a union on that. And then we put the pump in between and we just pump straight from the tender into the boiler. Yeah, you'll notice on my cursed uh, 280 here, I put a steam dome and then I also put two other domes, which I don't know why I put two other domes. I mean, but maybe I it was a switching service 280 that needed sand. Yeah, yeah, in two separate domes. Well, I mean, that's, I that's, that's a thing. Like, there are lots of locomotives that had two domes, two sand domes. That's that's well, very reasonable. Look at me, I'm just historically accurate. You, you then. Just so anyway, knew. your tender 
Vector doesn't have steam pressure, so so you know, we got, got so we got to make steam first. So okay, so we're gonna put a fire in this thing that is probably gonna blow up anyways because yeah. Do you have your onion box in your inventory there? Uh, you I your... don't. So I I can't grab from the pile no, of onion boxes. No, because we're in we're in creative mode. So if you grab something, it just deletes it. Um, right. If we were okay. in survival, when you grab something, it picks it up and puts it in your inventory. But because right. we basically inventory, have inventory unfolded you just onion, onion box. box. Yeah. All right. How do I grab that? Like how what, do I? So you can just click it from the inventory and drag it to your bottom bar into one of the bar gotcha. slots. Gotcha. All right. In that slot, you can. Yeah. Boom. All right. We've got we've got fu fuego now. Okay. Yeah. So now you're building steam pressure. So now you can you go to your you can you can do stuff. Okay. Um, so now I can put water in. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the water. Do you see the water site? Look at that. Look at that. All right. Now we got some water, and I'm gonna put it all the way up just because it, this was programmed by you. Yeah, so, for sure. That seems like a, a wise thing to do. Okay. Yeah, no, exactly. We we are in the danger zone of the pressure gauge, but that's exciting. But yeah, but it's it, I didn't have a pressure relief valve, so you know. Okay, just, so uh, we 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 die like men. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, so now, so we gotta go, sir. We're not. We gotta go forwards. Yeah, we gotta we gotta move in a direction. Okay. Well, I mean, so we got a uh, theoretically Johnson bar. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you gotta just. Uh, it, Goes to kind of like some set positions. You just have to, yeah, it's okay. hold it until it gets. To set and then, positions. and then we've got a uh, 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 break. Presumably, which, which way is released, Cod? This doesn't make any uh, sense. Yeah, I, I, I might have, I might have screwed that up. Everyone was saying that forward is break engaged. And, uh, and... this is a, this is, I mean, like if, if this is, if this was a, an automatic break valve or, or like a. Uh, like an independent brake valve and it's rotated and installed in the wrong direction like forward would be released because it is counterclockwise Right, but um, everyone was saying like forward is apply the brakes because like the basically the thought is if you need to apply the brakes You just push on it as hard as you can and th that's will... who who's yeah. everyone and why are they wrong? Like I've never heard no, that that's what they it said, And they were like your brake valve is in the wrong direction Well, I mean I it's like, in the okay. wrong direction, but like but it like forward like I've seen locomotives that have forward and backward brake like that if they have the independent brake sideways and then it like you pull towards you to to put the brake on and then you push it away from you to release it because you're bringing it towards you which is your visceral reaction to oh god something's happening you try and bring things close to you so I think your comments uh, I are also, wrong but... I also will tell you right now uh, this engine runs with a brake reservoir so uh, if you don't have brake pressure, your brakes are still engaged. Um, okay. Because uh, okay. that's how I program it. Because 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 yes, real. Because okay. Science, um, our, our fire's gone out. Is that a problem? I mean, you have steam pressure, so no. But I mean, I mean that's that's not great. But... Fire lasts only about thirty seconds. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty sad. Oh, it's oh that's. Sad I mean, they are. It is cardboard, so I mean that that's Basically, fair. Basically, have to shovel cardboard the entire time okay. to make it do anything. Okay. So, so what is what is what is this thing over here? Oh, you hear that? You hear that? You hear that noise? Yeah. When you, when you turn that off. Is that the air? Compressor? Sounds like a brake presser to me. No, I don't. Know. <laughs> that's my brake. Oh, wait, look! Look at how much steam it uses. Yeah, it, it uh, it's a hungry compressor. It's really, it's really, which, but it, a, a compressor in real life would suck back a bit of steam, right? They like use a little bit. They use a lot less than you'd think, though. Yeah, well, I my engine has really one setting, which is just consume all of the steam. Which well, is that's really... that seems fair. Okay, well, we've yeah. just got the gun on, got the compressor going. Um, yeah. Theoretically, the brake is now off because your commenters were wrong. We're in forwards. Okay, good, um, perfect. I'm glad you're wrong. That gives me um, a lot of confidence. So we we that button pushes. You gotta hit the yeah. There you go. Just open or wide. Yeah, we're not moving yet. So okay, this is the part of my engine that is inaccurate. Okay. You have to oh, turn no. off the injector. What? 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 Zach. Give it. Give it. Give, oh wait, hold on. Give it more fire. Consume some water. No, it's not. Oh, here we ah, go. There we go. Hey, look. So Let's... this was my thought behind this, and I want to get your opinion on the. Oh, you I, fell I off. I fell off. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, the, you can see I put a fake piston, but there is no actual piston connecting this up. But this is where I wanted to get your thought on it because, in my mind, and and this is maybe I'm wrong completely, but if I were to take, oh here, hold on, let me apply the brakes because <laughs> I have I have brakes. Hold on, look at that. There we go. That. Yeah, let me get on here. Yeah. As our train is laggy like crazy for some reason. It's fine. 
what my thought was this with this thought process, right? Was your injector, if your injector is left wide open, you're going to flood your boiler with water, right? Right. It would eventually, like, stall out the steam production, wouldn't it? Or is it like, well, like I mean, you know, so, so then you wouldn't have to your pit like because it would take more energy and i know it's probably wrong and that's like that's kind of why like i i didn't think you were going to get that part of the whole well process. yeah so like it doesn't like the injector being on i mean you run it while you're on all the time like that's like regular this but is how trains work right? like you're not you either you're you're not have it in you have it in bursts or you control the flow rate if you're running something really continuous where you need water really continuously like at the museum, we don't find it down at all. We don't change the rate. We just let it go wide open while we're going downhill. Um, but if you're going up a, a long hill, tonnage train or whatever, yeah, you'd leave it either wide open the whole time or you'd find it back depending on much steam you're using. Um, but yeah, I mean, the more water you have in the boiler, the more energy it takes to heat up. So it's theoretically less efficient um, to have more water. But I mean, obviously you're less likely to have a sort of explodey kind of failure, obviously, right? So you need to have enough, of course. Uh, but then the, the other thing with it is <clears throat> too much water can carry water over into your uh, into your engine, and then that can cause your uh, like your engine to, dome. like, Mister. it breaks. Yeah, yeah. It comes from the steam dome through the throttle. You get water into the engine. The exhaust goes mushy, and, and worst case, like, you water's incompressible, and you're trying to squeeze it with a piston, and you break right. rings, and you rocket the head off, and all sorts of bad stuff. So, like... Too much water is definitely a problem, so I can see why you'd do that. But yeah, I mean, to not be able to move while the injector is on is a little bit false. But it's fine. yeah, well, you know, welcome to welcome to my stream. Train. Well, welcome that's, to that's welcome pretty... to Scrap Mechanic, where this is. Uh, I mean, you, you got to do the best you can, right. which is fun. I obviously made this one huge because like it's got a very large um, cockpit gotta... setup. I do want to yeah. make a smaller version that'll fit on those modded rails because I feel like it would be really cool. But then I'd also want to make it a little more accurate with some uh, you know some number logic or something to maybe make it actually have like this is very analog you know right. it's like you don't have steam pressure it will not move right like that sort of thing it's so fun. that's fun i enjoy yeah. this and you're yeah, actually well, using water from the tender or is this just a uh, yes you have water uh, shut up we're not gonna <laughs> talk about that <laughs> we have water it's fine don't it's worry water. about it it's just a shut up yeah it just it's just there there's just water so yeah, it's our it's, a, it's our incredibly fast steam train, as you can see. Well, we're I mean, really... you know, it's we're we're doing four mile an hour, maybe it's fine. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the gear train is actually probably faster than this on the rail itself. That's funny. Oh yeah, I just had a, I had a ton of people that were bugging me to uh, have you critique my engine and uh, well, you know tell it's me a, it's a fun puzzle. It's a fun puzzle. I like it. I, there there was thought that went into it. Um, perfectly accurate, no, but I mean, like, perfectly accurate or as accurate as you can be based on the tools and equipment you have in this game, uh, it seems pretty good to me. I mean, it gets the, the spirit of it for sure. I'm glad I wasn't wrong about the brake valve, so, you know. Yeah, I mean... Apparently, yeah, but. well, so like it depends on what kind of brake valve you have. Uh, and I mean, the simplest one is called an S3 and it has three positions. Haha, -ha, S3. Anyway, you have kind of a lap where it holds whatever pressure you have and apply where it adds pressure and you have a release where it releases pressure. And that would right. be the, the simplest one that early engines had and some of our engines have. And if it was mounted in a forwards, backwards kind of way like this, I mean, it would be pivoting with the, the pipe that it stands out of basically coming out of the cab wall. Right. So it'd be rotating in that direction uh, and towards you would be apply and away from you would be release and lap would be in the middle. But usually so it's vertically instead of horizontally is what you're saying. Yes, precisely. Um, and But the way it's mounted on our engines, I mean, our engines are deckless where the boiler comes all the way back I was in, honest, when I know. modeled this, I was thinking of the independent derail valley and how it's. Oh, yeah. Those are. Yeah. Those are those are strange. Uh, unless you have the air brake mod, in, in which case they're awesome. But yeah. But, oh, good heavens. Uh, yeah, you let the boiler pressure get up there, bud, without adding water to it. So, oh, well, uh, that's that's exciting. That's accurate. Yeah. Run out of water, that's what happens. Except Actually, it's usually like, much it won't, more it won't, It'll just build up too much pressure, and then it won't go kaboom, though. Isn't that the point of a pressure release valve? Oh, no, not... it's not not based on boiler pressure. Uh, if you run out of water, you basically uh, expand the top firebox sheet so much that it slips off the bolts that mount it and hold it, and then you have a giant steam-powered trebuchet. 
and it's oh, very bad. It's, it's literally, it's just, uh, it's not even, it's just a temp issue. It's just too Yeah, because the, the fire is hotter than the melting point of steel, which is why you need the water. And so if you run out of water, you break things real quick. You scar the crown sheet, and then it starts to starts to fail, and then it turns into a steam-powered trebuchet, and then you find bits uh, on the other side of the map over there. Yeah, there's well, anyway, bad stories uh, of that. <laughs> you know, I could, I could again, I could show you stuff all day in Scrap Mechanic, um, but uh, of course, I just, uh, you know, I really uh, <laughs> don't know what your opinion was on things. Um, this is, don't worry about it. This we're is, we're just gonna vibe with this thing. This is fun. Yeah, this is this is a car. Uh, it does does stuff it does car stuff as you can see i i'm excited to see more of this shenanigans i've had yeah. a lot of fun and and the train stuff i mean it was fun it was cool so yeah. this is how i drive down the street dude guys, by the way all my friends have a low rider yeah look at this <laughs> <laughs> uh but anyway let us know what you guys think in the comments down below if you want uh me and heist to do more um Oh yeah, we got both ends. We know. This is we this don't. is some Mach Five Speed Racer stuff yeah. right now. You like that? But uh, it's purple like and it's got a blower. Yeah. It's and, awesome. And That's pipes. yeah. Very We're, good. It's very good. Yeah. But anyway, if you guys want us to do more scrap mechanic, let us know in the comments down below. If you yeah. want us to do some, uh, new V Pro stuff, I'll gladly let Heist try building things, and it'll be a terrible experience because uh, yeah, it's I'm a very jank game to learn how to build in. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, I helpful. am excited. Hopefully, folks uh, think it's fun, and we we can oh, see what uh, shenanigans we get up to with two different engineers doing this sort of stuff. So, thanks yeah, for watching, I'll everybody. Yeah, I, I'll 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 build you some more trains. We'll, don't worry, we'll have you critique more of my trains. I'm I'm really excited now that I've been playing more railroads online. There's a lot more train stuff that I could do. We're just casually doing wheelie. No big deal. Our wheels are just uh... yeah. Con, con, con. Please yeah, don't kill well, me. Well. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, uh, oh, you're stuck. Well, have fun. I, I live inside this car now. You're just stuck there forever now. You're never coming out. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, I really want to build some realistic, uh, valve timing mechanisms now that I've been getting more into railroads online. I built some a long time ago. They aren't that great. I'd like to build better ones. And of course, have you once again critique them and maybe I can make them onto some trains. It's going to be hard to make them small enough to fit on trains that'll fit on this gauge, but uh, maybe we'll be able to do it. Or I'll do something super cursed and have it run from, like, the inside most rail to the outside most rail and just have, like, this terrible... What do you... Yeah, this is... I can stack onion boxes. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. This is a thing that. that I can do. This is entertaining. Yep. I can also pull out the Gatling gun and uh, destroy your entire stack of onion boxes. You see. You're like, mean. You're mean, gun. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to Scrap Mechanic. It's a, <laughs> it's a wonderful experience. But, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Laters. <laughs>